Hey guys, Tate here, and in this video we have got um, something explaining and showing off some of the new graphics and features in Call of Duty Ghosts, um, graphics wise anyway. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'll be doing a breakdown of every piece of Intel video image screenshot that we've seen so far um, later on today. So stay tuned for that. Well, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. All of the tech and visuals you're about to see are running real time in one of the levels of Call of Duty Ghosts. Our new engine creates a huge leap in visual fidelity and graphical immersion for Call of Duty. To highlight this leap forward, let's take a look at a couple of these new features in-game. Let's start with a look at one of our new advanced tessellation features called Displacement Mapping. This feature allows our engine to create high-res geometry in real time on train surfaces that were in the past very flat. To better illustrate this, we are going to bring up some of the in-game development tools to show you what this new feature is actually doing. So with displacement maps off, you can see that the rocks on the riverbed are basically flat. However, as we slowly turn on displacement maps, you can see real geometry. The rocks, the nooks, the crags actually grow. This is a significant increase in geometric fidelity that is happening in real time in our new engine. Another great new feature of the engine is called Sub-D. This is a technique that takes once blocky geometry and builds them into perfectly smooth curves. It's been used for a while by Hollywood and film, but the breakthrough for us has been utilizing it real time in engine. So as we look down the site with Sub-D turned off, you can actually see how the edges are jagged because of the normal poly count. So now with Sub-D turned on, you can see that the normal poly count has been increased exponentially. And what's amazing about Sub-D is that it will continue to subdivide in real time as you get closer to objects. So no matter how close you get, nothing will break down. Now as you look at your player's hand and weapon with all the tech running, you can see how high resolution textures, Sub-D, the lighting, and other techniques allow us to show the most minute of details, like cuts, scrapes, and other natural imperfections. Also notice how the scope is now perfectly round. We've also implemented other features that further increase the natural look of the game. One example of this is how light affects the player's vision. As in the real world, when you look at something dark and then turn to something bright, your eyes will adjust to compensate. Displacement mapping and real-time sub-D, along with other new technologies such as HDR volumetric lighting and real-time ADSR, set a new benchmark for immersion for Call of Duty. 